Becoming a video editor is something, but if you want to be a real life magician, you must learn these three extremely realistic VFX. From making objects float, to crushing it with your mind, to teleporting out of existence. By the end of this video, you will master all these skills. Starting with effect one, a floating can. The reason this one is so realistic is because it's actually floating. This way the shadows and the reflections are real. To start, you want to find a small rope or something like a stick. You can and then attach it to the back of your can. I didn't really have anything, so I borrowed my cat's toy. Next, you just ask someone to move the can all the way up until it's out of the frame. Once that's done, make sure you have an empty shot on the side of this clip as well. Now, in Premiere, put the empty shot underneath the shot of your moving can. Now, make sure the top clip is selected and head over to the effect controls. And here, move the player to the moment right before the can starts moving. Now, in the opacity property, click the pen tool to create a mask. Go to the program monitor and draw a mask around your cat's toy or whatever you're using. Then once the mask is closed, you'll see that only the toy is selected. To fix that, just check the inverted box to invert the mask. Also set the feather to zero, if needed you can always increase it afterwards. Now set a mask path keyframe. Then with the mask selected, go back to the program monitor and use your scroll wheel to move one frame further. Then adjust the mask. Keep doing that until the can is out of the frame. And that's all to it. Next we're gonna create this crushing can effect. This one's actually easier than you think. The reason why it's so realistic is not because of the crushing necessarily, but because of the reflections of me and the can on the same surface. That's because these are actually two different clips. First, make a shot of you acting like you're using your mind to crush it. Then stay where you are and create a small dent into the can. Then get out of the way to get rid of any unwanted shadows and reflections. Then do it again and keep doing that until you like the way the can looks. When you're done, let the camera roll for about 10 seconds. All right, now in Premiere, you have one clip of you acting and another one of your can. In here, find all the frames of your can after you created a dent in it. This is almost like a stop motion effect now. Then move the player to the moment where you start mind crushing the can. Next, snap the clips of your can against the player and drag the last one out. Now move the player to the first dent and make sure the clip is selected. Then go to the effect controls and in opacity, click the pen tool to create a mask. Draw a mask around your can so that the clip underneath it becomes visible again. Back in effect controls, select the opacity property and hit Ctrl plus C to copy it. Head back to the timeline and select all the other clips that also need this mask. Just hit Ctrl plus V to paste it and that's it. Now in my opinion, this looks great but it feels a little bit too slow. To fix that, select all of the clips and right click them. Then choose nest. Now on the top right of your nested sequence, right click the effects button and find time remapping. Once it's enabled, move the player to the moment where you start crushing the can. Then hold down control and click to create a keyframe. Now move the player further in time to the moment where the crushing is done. Then set another keyframe. Now to speed it up, simply drag the line in between the keyframes up until you get a result you like. There you go. Now to spice up your effects, you need high quality music and sound effects. I'm so glad you're watching because I'm about to show you the best music library you can find today. That is audio. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. The music and sound effects library is created specifically for creators like us. You can just browse the music however you want, but they have some amazing tools to enhance your browsing experience. Let's say I found a song I like. I want to find some similar songs to this one. Well, you can just click the lightning bolt and boom, an entire list with similar songs will appear. I am a huge fan of the AI powered playlists. Audio will literally create a playlist based on your favorite songs. This saves me so much time, it's unbelievable. Besides music, you can find an endless amount of high quality sound effects that will blow your mind. Now, Audio actually gave me a code for you guys, which is Premiere Basics, and that will allow you to get 70% off the Audio Pro Plan, which is insane. You should really take advantage of this deal right now in the description down below. Effect number three, doing a teleport jump. What makes this effect looks real is the plant moving because of the wind or energy that occurs when you're jumping. First, film yourself jumping into a ball. Make sure you're completely in frame. Then leave the camera recording for about 10 seconds to create an empty. Then with the camera still rolling, tap the plan to fake the movement. Now in Premiere, you have two clips. One of you jumping and one of the empty with the plant. Drag the empty clip underneath your jumping video like this. Now 
on top of the clip, move the player to the moment where you're in the air, then set a cut. Now with these short clips selected, go to the effect controls and make sure the playhead is set on the first frame of your video. Then in opacity, click the pen tool to create a mask. In the program monitor, draw a mask around yourself. This doesn't have to be extremely precise. Then back in effect controls, set a mask path keyframe. In the program monitor, use your scroll wheel to move one frame further in time and adjust the mask. Do this until you're at the end of the clip. It should be around 5 frames long or something. When you're done, increase the mask feather to blend yourself with the background. Alright, now in the timeline, right click your clip and choose nest. We're doing that because otherwise the mask we created will interfere with the effects that we're about to apply. Head over to the effects library and find the transform effect. Once you've found it, drag it on your nested sequence. Also look for the twirl effect and also drag it on your nested sequence. Now with your clip selected, head to the effect controls and make sure the playhead is on the first frame of your clip. Click on the anchor point and in the program monitor, drag the anchor point to the middle of your body. Then use the position property to line it back up so that you're back in the original position. We're doing this because now we can animate the scale from the middle of your body. So set a scale keyframe and move the playhead to the last frame of your video, then set the scale to 0.1. But why? Because if you put it to 0, Premiere will introduce an annoying bug that they still haven't fixed. Now expand the velocity curves of your clip and draw the lever of the first keyframe to ease the animation out. Now of course, don't forget to increase the shutter angle for motion blur. Alright, this looks cool already, but next we're gonna distort the video by twirling it. Head over to the twirl effect and set an angle keyframe. Then move the player to the end of the clip and set the angle to 80 degrees. Adjust the twirl radius to your desire. For me 21 works perfectly. Also adjust the twirl center to your liking. It's completely up to you. These next effects will help you level up even more and you can learn everything about it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching.